Hey guys, welcome back to LRC. So I just installed a brushless system on the V12 and the day and night difference. Now I can just kick the throttle and lose traction to start drifting whenever I want. So before that, I check for the shaft diameter first by uh, using a larger steel shaft first, level the pinion and the shaft, then uh, use the same size of 2mm shaft to uh, knock it out. Carefully, when it's almost uh, out, then uh, just pull it out with your hand. And so that's the pinion, looks good. Process motor is also 2mm shaft and uh, it's longer than the 260 stock motor. So that's the dimension of it, the uh, length of the brushless and also the hole size, which is uh, different than the uh, the one on the original moto. But, uh, and then I just try putting it the pinion and it's a snug fit. So I'm gonna put some cream on it to uh, make sure that it grips uh, even better. And using a clamp to push it in. Now it's flush, uh, so we have to use the M3 uh, nut and then push it in with uh, tape uh, to secure it together. We are almost there, the same level as before. So I use another, use one more lock nut to, uh, as a, like a sleeve to uh, push the pinion in. Now I remove the uh, DIY uh, white body kit for the B shop. This is a Honda FT Time Attack spoon. I just pop off the head. So before, some of you may have seen the previous video where I use uh, the IES V3 in this, and uh, it's much better throttle control. And remove the motor from out of it, and oh boy. Um, it's even longer than the 370. Oh. Fortunately, the hole lines up with the additional hole. I'll just put it back. Before that, uh, please apply lock tight first. Put back the screw and let's give it a try. Yes! It snaps in. But it's working on some of the plastic material, so we have to uh, remove that. Uh, cutting it and then uh, pulling it out with a sharp plier. And snap it back again. And I'm not going to use the original switch. Then cutting away the original connector that connects to the receiver. Solder the ESC to this uh, wire that goes to the connector, the battery connector at the back. There's a nice soldering job there. And remember to uh, apply a uh, heat shrink tube as well. Ta -da. Let's try. Oh my god, this this radio control system is damn fast and 3 ms uh, respond time. And then my throttle is uh, reverse, so I have to flip the two of the wires. And then now I'm in the correct direction. So that's how I organize the wires and I try to put it back. It's a little bit, it's quite a snug fit. And placing the gyro I was using with foam tape. Now let's give it a try. So immediately from the first drift kicks kicks in, wow, it's, it's a huge difference and I really, really like it. And then I just tell Huang immediately that it works very, very well. The throttle control is very lenient. And then if, when you want more angle, you just uh, give it uh, a blip, a throttle, more throttle, then you just kick the tail out. And then just now the fake, just now it was done uh, on purpose. So you see it drift very well on uh, both sides very powerful in fact i'm running only on 60 uh, percent throttle and i'm uh, surprised to find that uh, the stock battery that comes with it works well it's not even warm the connector the original i'm using the original connector as well and it doesn't get warm as well probably due to uh, it's basically drifting it's free spinning so there's much less load uh, compared to normal driving so if you like what you see and you want to do the same thing you can find a link to the same product i use in this description if you are new to the channel please like and subscribe and click the notification button as well so you will get notified on the next video which we will reveal about the two new remote that i just got they look very similar i believe they are probably from the same manufacturer but uh, another one is rebranded